Another way we can light our scene is using what they call an image-based lighting setup. And this is purely illuminated with image maps in the environment uh, node, which would be right here. So let's look at how that works. I'm going to go ahead and turn off these lights in the scene and you'll see it get a little bit darker. We still have global illumination active so you can actually still see the, uh, the shoe itself. And the global illumination is being controlled in the shader here at the very bottom under the environments. Now in order to adjust the lighting of this global illumination here, um, we can set some parameters here in the in the uh, zenith, sky, ground, nadir color, or the easier way to do this is to simply open up preset browser here. And if you don't see the assets uh, collection right off of the bat here, just click on this little button right here and just select presets. And I'm going to go over to environments, open that up. And uh, let's do uh, let's do a studio environment here. You can see this is populated with images that can be used to illuminate your scene based on their luminance values. And this is achieved by wrapping that image around a virtual sphere within your environment. And if we keep our eye on the render window, you can see that our scene is becoming brighter and more illuminated with the use of that image map. Now there's a lot of ways that you can enhance and control the environmental lighting that you've chosen for this scene. One of the ways is to navigate over to the environments node in the shader tree, click its down arrow to expose the image and environment material. Now within the image, you can see it's mapped on a spherical projection type and you can change its projection axis. Now, if I go over and click on the Texture Locator Edge tab, I have some controls over to the positioning of the lights to a certain degree. I can rotate those lights along the Y axis to change their position in the scene, and therefore changing the way the scene is illuminated. And one of the advantages to illuminating your scene using image-based lighting is that it gives you a really well-balanced and good quality light setup for your scene. Not to mention that it can be changed at the click of a button. So it's super, super easy to change and experiment with different lighting setups. So I encourage you to give that a try.